the crowd turning out despite the icy conditions and tonight winning their first big battle with the establishment they so resent. Stunning changes was carried on Czech television tonight, a broadcast that showed as well the reaction on the streets. The test now is how many people join the national strike still planned for Monday. That'll be a barometer of all. He looked old and slightly frail, an unlikely figure for so much adulation. Today, Mr. Dubček repeated the medal in his home city of Bratislava. Once again, Alexander Dubček is the figurehead for reform in Czechoslovakia. That his own reforms had not been fast enough. His replacement was announced within the last hour as Karel Ubanek. As the resignations were announced, Mr. Dubček and other leading dissidents celebrated in front of cheering... It was delivered by television to the Czechoslovak people, deadpan and matter-of-fact. Material finally shown an hour after the Politburo resigned tonight. They were ready. Alexander Dubček stepped onto the balcony. Like Bratislava last night, he came to embrace his people. It was the moment of climax. Overwhelming, emotional and unforgettable. A sekretariat VKSČ dávají své funkce k dispozici. Members of the opposition and journalists alike erupted in delight. So rapid, so overpowering that the unstoppable push for reform had by now cracked wide open. The kernel of hardline socialism. The students are throwing a wild party.